here in town, life became so difficult. So my daddy forced me to go and do my studies in the villages. So there at school, that's where I met my first boyfriend. Of course, he was a little bit older than me. Well, I didn't have any information about sex. When we were seated at school, my friend would be just talking about sex. And I didn't have anything to talk about. So I thought, okay, let me just start having sex so that I should also have something to talk about with my friends. So the third time we had sex, when we were done, he just told me that the condom busted. I was busy like vomiting in class. My, my teachers were asking me what's wrong. I was just saying maybe it's malaria and everything. But I was convinced now that no, this, I think this is pregnancy. So I asked him, but what are we going to do about it? Then he told me that never to talk about it again. Because I was getting on his nerves and he was threatening me that if I continued telling him about that same thing, he was going to beat me up, those threats. And I was scared of my dad, that maybe he might kill me. All this while I've been planning like to be a nurse when I'm done with school. Then this pregnancy, of mine, how am I going to take care of the child? I hear that people die during labor. I just wanted to have it removed. In our village where we used to stay with my grandma, there was an aunt somewhere just nearby. She was an expert in terms of aborting pregnancies and everything. So we went in the bush, then she started digging some roots for me. Then I was busy like by the roadside, just peeping, trying to see if there's no one coming and everything. So she gave me the whole concoction. So in the night, I walked up, went to the kitchen, and started boiling those herbs she gave me. So I was thinking that maybe just to speed up the reaction, I can just add some battery acid in it. And I just want to get rid of this pregnancy. So when I walked up the following morning, I, just, I was just feeling like vomiting. I vomited, but I never bled. I went back to the same lady. Then she gave me the second dose. So with that dose, I was thinking, how do I speed up the reaction again since the, the, the battery acid never worked? So I got some bottles and crushed them. Just crushed them, crushed them and mixed it with the same herbs she gave me. Then I drank. I just wanted to have it removed. Yeah, I just wanted to terminate it that, so I just did all I could. Whatever came into my mind, I would just do that. No, when you're found in that situation, you don't even think of something positive. Everything you'll be thinking about will be negative and bad and evil, just to get rid of the pregnancy. I'm just so grateful that I'm, I'm lucky to have survived. I share my life experience because I wouldn't want girls to go through what I went through. Yeah.